So we're now joined by Ashwini Bharat Kuma. Um, Ash, tell me about your contribution today at the workshop. Sure. Um, so I co-authored a paper uh, with two of the two of my fellow students in the Engineering Systems Division at MIT, uh, Jesse Jenkins and Scott Berger, um, under Ignacio Perez Arriaga's supervision. Um, so the paper is generally about redesigning the regulation of distribution utilities with a high penetration of distributed energy resources. Um, so there are sort of four fundamental regulatory challenges that were outlined in the Think Report that was released a couple of years ago. Um, about you know, designing the remuneration of the distribution utility, allocating the cost of the distribution network amongst the network users, um, determining what the role is of the distribution utility, the distribution system operator, is it a network operator? Um, and then the fourth issue is the interaction between the distribution system operator and the transmission system operator. Um, so the paper sort of outlined a couple of regulatory proposals for addressing um, those key issues. And what kind of problems do you identify in this area at the moment? Yeah, um, so for example, the challenge of determining the remuneration of the distribution utility is um, with growing expectations of new services that the distribution utility might have to provide, uh, new costs, uh, new opportunities to save costs. Um, how do we determine what is the reasonable amount of money that the distribution utility ought to recover? Um, and so that, uh, Jesse Jenkins has worked on a proposal for determining the remuneration of the distribution utility using four sort of state of the art uh, regulatory approaches. Um, and then sort of the next step after you've determined what's the pot of money that the distribution utility ought to recover, uh, the question of cost allocation arises. How do we allocate that cost amongst the network users? Um, because these users are no longer just loads or people consuming electricity. They might be charging electric vehicles, generating electricity with solar PV, uh, utilizing storage. Um, so what I worked on was a distribution network use of system charge, um, which determines based on how network users are utilizing the system, how do we uh, allocate costs according to cost causality. Um, and then sort of the, the third element of the paper um, was a framework for assessing business models um, and determining what are the key drivers of success of business models, which addresses the last two regulatory challenges, which I mentioned, which was the role of the DSO and the interaction between the DSO and TSO, um, because the business model analysis is really important to determine who are the agents who are providing particular electricity services, what's the distribution utility doing, what are other third party actors doing, like aggregators. Um, so we had sort of three regulatory proposals to address the four regulatory challenges. And uh, part of what we're doing today is, um, and part of what today is, is about encouraging people to um, take an interest in these areas. Um, how would you um, try and persuade other researchers to focus their attention on these kind of topics? Sure, yeah. Um, I think there are a great set of challenges and questions that are at the intersection of uh, uh, technical business model, regulatory policy questions. Um, so this is a really exciting area because you get to integrate your knowledge of all of those elements of the power sector and markets and um, the social sciences. Um, it's, it's very much, not to overuse the term, but it's a very interdisciplinary problem um, and set of questions. And I think there are a lot of interesting research questions. Um, and I think researchers from a lot of different disciplines can contribute to really neat solutions. And what's the best way of sort of instigating this kind of research and trying to persuade people from these different areas to come together and work together? Yeah, um, I'm not sure. Um, I think, for example, the MIT Energy Initiative is an interdisciplinary lab. Um, people from multiple disciplines are involved in projects like the Utility of the Future project. Um, we have sponsors that come from a lot of different areas of the utility sector, um, whether they're independent system operators or national labs or corporations um, like technology providers or you know, regulated utilities. Um, I think they all have different interests in the project, different dimensions, um, different questions that they'd like to ask. And so I think that's a draw for many different types of researchers who might have also you know, different academic interests, different research interests that can still be very applied and very practical. Hey, Ashwini Bhavakuma, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.